Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. <laughs> um, so before I begin, I mean the official NSSC event doesn't start till eight o'clock anyways. Um I think I wanna do this likely yearly PSA. So I think I did say something similar last year. Um that's part of my contribution to Black History Month. Uh, to talk about the inventor of the cart. You know, um, these things. You know, you shove them in a console, they play your game. Okay. Set up. There it is. And this is for Wikipedia, which is fairly accurate. So, before this man's innovation, you wanted to play. Every game would be on its own machine, like an arcade cabinet. I think if you wanted to play Pong, that would be one machine. Or maybe you wanted to play some Missile Command, that'd be another machine. Or Asteroids. You would have to get another machine. Well, the other machine to play those games. And then uh, Jerry Lawson came into the picture. His contribution to gaming was inventing cart the cartridge as we know it. Um... And with that, the first gaming console as we know it. It would have been the... Let me scroll in this mode. The reason why I'm doing it like this is because uh, Pipeware is being a bitch. To put it simply. She won't let me do that. Anyways. So. He invented the... Um, I think it was the channel, channel series. And its innovation to gaming was the fact that you could it could play multiple games. To change games, you just simply had to change a cartridge, because the game information would be on the cart burned would be made into a dedicated circuit board that could be swapped in and out at will. Now this, of course, meant that this would ultimately reduce the cost of gaming as a hobby and the amount of space it took up in one's home. And it's an innovation, and while the console itself didn't do very well, I mean, nobody I've even heard of this. The Atari, other gaming corps like Atari and that, later adopted this technology in their own systems. And we would still be in arcade cabinets. If not for this. So I think... Now sadly the man is no longer with us. Um, according to the Wikipedia article. He apparently died from the complications of diabetes. So let's just give this man a salute. And thank him for his contribution to gaming. Making... Giving us this these dedicated boards that had your game. Now of course meant... Many of the manufacturers have since phased them out in favor of discs because you could hold more data on them. Obviously, Nintendo still uses carts because their advantage is durability. They don't break as easily as a disc, laser disc does. And of course, this may ultimately be phased out now in the era of internet and streaming services. But remember that in the early days of gaming, being able to simply open up your console slide a, and slot in a cartridge was a big deal would have been a big deal at one point all right my i'm done my cultural contribution i'm now going to get in some mario kart and 